We can get exact values of sine, cosine, and tangent for some special angles in standard position. Here we'll look at four angles that have a reference angle of 30 degrees. We'll start by drawing an x and y axis and a circle. Now we'll draw an arrow showing the initial side of all the angles we'll look at. We'll put a mark here at 30 degrees. We'll add an arrow to show the terminal arm of this angle and mark it as 30 degrees. We'll construct a table to show our values at four different special angles. We'll add a right triangle here. The reference angle for 30 degree angle in standard position is also 30 degrees. The coordinates for this point are positive root 3 over 2 for x and positive 1 half for y. You may be wondering how we get these values for the coordinates. For this right triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is 1 because this is the radius of the circle. For a 30, 60, 90 triangle with a hypotenuse of 1, the length of the shorter leg is 1 half. We'll call the length of the longer leg x and we'll use some algebra to solve for it. Pythagoras tells us that x squared plus 1 half squared equals 1 squared. 1 half squared equals 1 quarter. Subtracting 1 quarter from both sides gives us x squared equals 3 quarters. Taking the square root of both sides gives us x equals root 3 over 2. So the x coordinate of this point is positive root 3 over 2. And the y coordinate is positive 1 half. Now we'll go back to our original diagram. 30 degrees is equal to pi over 6 radians. The sine of 30 degrees is y over r, which is positive 1 half. Remember r for all of the angles we're considering is the radius of the circle, which equals 1. The cosine of 30 degrees is x over r, which is positive root 3 over 2. The tangent of 30 degrees is y over x, which is 1 half divided by root 3 over 2. This is the same as 1 half times 2 over root 3, which comes out to 1 over root 3. And rationalizing the denominator gives us positive root 3 over 3 as the final value for the tangent of 30 degrees. Notice that for this 30 degree angle, the values of sine, cosine, and tangent are all positive. This is true for all angles in quadrant 1. Now we'll add a mark here in quadrant 2. This corresponds to a principal angle of 150 degrees. We'll draw in an arrow to show the terminal arm of this angle. The coordinates are negative root 3 over 2 for x and positive 1 half for y. 150 degrees is equal to 5 pi over 6 radians. We'll add a right triangle here and we can see that the reference angle for the principal angle 150 degrees is 30 degrees. The sine is y over r, which is positive 1 half. The cosine is x over r, which is negative root 3 over 2. And the tangent is y over x, which is positive 1 half over negative root 3 over 2, which works out to negative root 3 over 3. Notice only the sine is positive and the cosine and tangent are both negative. This is true for all angles in quadrant 2. Now we'll add a mark here in quadrant 3. This corresponds to a principal angle of 210 degrees. We'll add an arrow to show the terminal arm of this angle. The coordinates for this point are negative root 3 over 2 for x and negative 1 half for y. 210 degrees is equal to 7 pi over 6 radians. We'll draw in a right triangle here and we see that the reference angle for the principal angle 210 degrees is 30 degrees. The sine is y over r, which is negative 1 half. The cosine is x over r, which is negative root 3 over 2. The tangent is y over x, which is negative 1 half divided by negative root 3 over 2. This works out to positive root 3 over 3. Notice the tangent is positive while the sine and the cosine are both negative. This is true for any angle in quadrant 3. We'll add a mark over here in quadrant 4. This corresponds to a principal angle of 330 degrees. We'll add an arrow here to show the terminal arm of this angle. The coordinates for this point are positive root 3 over 2 for x and negative 1 half for y. 330 degrees is equal to 11 pi over 6 radians. 
We'll draw in a right triangle here, and we see that the reference angle for the principal angle of 330 degrees is 30 degrees. The sine is y over r, which is negative 1 half. The cosine is x over r, which is positive root 3 over 2. The tangent is y over x, which is negative 1 half divided by positive root 3 over 2, which works out to negative root 3 over 3. Notice the cosine is positive, while the sine and the tangent are both negative. This is true for any angle in quadrant 4. We'll number the quadrants as 1, 2, 3, and 4, starting at 1 and moving counterclockwise around the circle. In quadrant 1, the sine, cosine, and tangent are all positive. So we'll write an A here for all. In quadrant 2, only the sine is positive. So we'll write an S here for sine. In quadrant 3, only the tangent is positive, so we'll write a t here for tangent. Looking at quadrant 4, we see only the cosine is positive, so we'll write a c here for cosine. Moving from quadrant 1 to quadrant 4, the letters are a, s, t, and c. We can remember this using a sentence like all students take calculus. Here's a summary of the four principal angles we looked at along with their coordinates, reference angles, and values. Make sure you're familiar with these and which values are positive and which are negative.